Hi everybody, how are you? A little while ago I worked over in uh, a place called Papua New Guinea uh, for about a year. And in that time, unfortunately, my motorbike was uh, out in the weather and we had a hell of a lot of really wet weather and a lot of things on that motorbike rusted. Uh, also, there was a lot of humidity in the tank, so the tank has actually developed some leakage, some, uh, it's got some rust holes in it. So I just wanted to take you through one method to get rid or, or to prepare your tank to uh, put a coating on it. Basically this method uses electrolysis. And what you do is you put a, uh, an iron electrode inside the tank and you put some washing soda and water inside the tank and then you run a current through it. And what that does is it takes iron off the electrode and basically coats the inside of the tank at the same time essentially converting uh, the um, <coughs> converting the rust in the tank into iron. Oh, this is the theory anyway. So what you've got to do is this. Get some washing soda. Now, I'm in Australia, so uh, I'm going to talk in litres, but basically what you want to do is take your tank capacity in litres, uh, and you want one table, take your tank capacity in litres, divide it by four, and you want one tablespoon per four litres. Uh, if you're in the USA, what you want is one tablespoon per gallon, capacity of the tank. Take those tablespoons, put them in some sort of container with hot water in it, dissolve all that washing soda, and pour it in the tank. Obviously, you've got to clean out the tank of all petrol, give it a good, good rinse first. Uh, take the petcock off and give it a good rinse, then seal it all up. Then after you've done that, pour in your washing soda solution, then fill the tank completely full of water. Then what you want to do, in this case I've got a battery charger, what you want to do is get a chunk of iron. It must be iron, do not use stainless steel. Cover the top bit of the iron uh, with some electrical tape so that you can't get a short circuit. Place that iron carefully in the tank and wedge it there so that you cannot get, as I said, a short circuit. Make sure that you have the positive lead attached. Then somewhere metallic on the tank, attach the negative lead. And then what you've got to do is turn on your battery charger. You don't need to use a battery charger, you could just use a battery to do this. You'll see when I turn it on, there's a very tiny little deviation there in that um, amperage meter. And what this is going to do is almost immediately you will see some very, very tiny little bubbles start in there. This is a self-limiting reaction. So, uh, you know, leave it in there for about 12 hours. You can't really overdo it. When there's no more rust to convert, it'll stop. Now, you're going to get some gunk on there, uh, on the electrode. Basically, occasionally, turn off, make sure you turn off the charger first, so that you can't create a short circuit. Take out the electrode and clean off the gunk. I've just been doing this about every few hours. See, there's a whole lot of gunk there. It's just all rust and crap coming out of solution. Put it back in very carefully, making sure you don't have metal touching metal. Turn it back on again. Off you go. Maybe do this for about 12 hours. And uh, then you'll find that your, your tank's pretty, uh, pretty clean inside. Uh, most of the rust is gone. At that stage, you can then uh, go ahead and use one of the various coatings that you can get to uh, coat the inside of your tank and prevent the holes from occurring again. Most of those coatings are based on uh, epoxy or a type of resin. Uh, there's one called a red coat, R-E-D space K-O-T-E. There's another one called cream, which I, spelt, I think is spelt K-R-E-E-M. -E 